Welcome back to Math Wizard Tutor. Today's video is about transformational geometry. Transformational geometry has four different types. So we have translation, reflection, rotation, and dilation. So today's video specifically will be discussing about translation. So how do we do translation? So to translate means to slide the object or image from the original position to any direction, maybe going to the right or going to the left or going downward or upward. So translation is just sliding the object. So for example, we have triangle A, B, C, and we are going to slide this figure seven units to the right. So what is our rule? Our rule is x, y, or the coordinate of our triangle will be added by 7, 0. It means that our x values, because moving to the right is affecting our x values, moving to the left affecting our x values, moving upward or downward that is affecting our y values. So let's identify then what are the coordinates of our A, B, and C. So our A coordinate is negative 5, 3. Our B coordinate is negative 4, 1. And our C is negative 1, 1. So what you're going to do is to just add 7 to the values of your X. So example A, our A is negative 5. So you have negative 5 plus 7 that is equal to positive 2 then your 3 you add by 0 of course you just copy your y so you have 3 so your card new coordinate now for a is 2 3 we call it a apostrophe or a sub 1 next our b negative 4 plus 7 and that gives you positive 3 comma one you just bring down your y values next for letter c you have negative one negative one plus seven is positive six comma positive one so now your new coordinates are a is two three b is three one then c is six one so I'll just plot it to the right. B is 3, 1, then C is 6, 1. After which, you can connect the dots to form your triangle. Now, it is translated to the right side of the coordinate plane in quadrant 1. So now the object is translated to the right 7 units. So if you drag this object 7 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven the object is correctly translated to the right seven units next example we are going to move the same triangle abc we are going to move downwards four units so slide the image four units downward so in our rule it will be written as x comma y will be changed into zero comma negative four it means our y will go down of uh, four units then the same thing we are identifying our a b and c coordinates so a is negative five three b is negative four one c is negative one positive one so subtracting or adding negative four to our to our y values what we are going to do now is to add negative 4 to our y values. So let's do it. So our a sub 1 or a apostrophe will become just copy your x. So that is negative 5. Then comma 3 minus 4 or 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. That is now your new coordinate. Next, for B, B sub 1 or B apostrophe, we have negative 4. 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. Then your C 
is equal to negative 1 comma 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. So you can find your coordinates on quadrant 3 because all are negative. So you have a sub 1, negative 5, negative 1. B sub 1 is negative 4, negative 3. C sub 1 is negative 1, negative 3. Then you can connect the dots to form the triangle A, B, C. So if you are going to check four units below, so from the original position, you can drag the image 1, 2, 3, 4. Exactly the image was translated four units downward. For the third example, we are going to move the image three units downward and five units to the right. So your rule will become xy plus five to the right and minus three downwards. So let's give our points. Our points are coordinates for A, negative five, three, B, negative four, one, C, negative one, one. Then what we're going to do next is to add 5 to our x values. For our a, we have negative 5 plus 5. And that gives us 0. So our x in our a is 0. Then for our b, negative 4 plus 5 is 1. And for our c, negative 1 plus 5 is positive 4. Okay, so what we're going to do next is to find our coordinate for y. y is 3 minus 3, that is also 0. So your a is now 0, 0. Next, for b, we have your 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. 1 minus 3 is comma negative 2. So we have now our new coordinates, a sub 1, 0, 0, b sub 1, 1, negative 2, c sub 1, 4, negative 2. So we are going to plot that points. Where can we find it? 0, 0, 1, negative 2, and 4, negative 2. After which you form your figure. This is now the translated image from the original position to the three units downward and five units to the right. So we are going to justify it. Three units downward, one, two, three, then five units to the right, one, two, three, four, five. The figure was correctly translated. I hope you learned something from today's video. Thank you for watching.